you kind of feel what the soldiers might have felt when they were in the trenches because you know much more about the conditions and what they had to face. You're wearing the same clothes as they did a hundred years ago and it's like reenacting what they did. It's just like stepping into the TARDIS. It's really. You get to learn all kinds of new information, especially about things from long ago. Seeing like postcards and pictures, it's just more personal and more kind of intimate than what I thought before. Having this different type of resource, which we don't get at school, getting such a personal view from the soldiers themselves. One of them went to our school, so we can relate directly to them. For a kid, take diaries and letters and artefacts out and then photograph them and then create a piece from that. We research so much and to put all that into a response and say everything we feel is a really good feeling. An artist's joy of something like this is being able to get behind the scenes and get into their archives and meddle around. I've never worked obviously alongside an artist before so to have her there working alongside me she sort of gave me all these just like came at me with all these ideas and it was just amazing to like have someone that could actually just come up with all of this straight away. I'm really intrigued with the World War I postcard photography. It's sort of a nostalgic image that you would take before a soldier went into war. The diary was really interesting because the writing was so small. My phone was bigger than it. A lot of my work would deal with creating this kind of historical continuum between past, present and future. You need to know about your history, like to understand it better. The learning manager brought out a small hammer, a toffee hammer. And I thought, what on earth has this got to do with the Scottish regiments? It just opens up a lot of the Welsh connections and how many people lost their lives in the Great War. The collection has opened my eyes. They were dark times. It was a land of despair, yet hope. And that's a really interesting juxtaposition for me.